What's up everybody, how to tech? We're gonna do a quick reassembly of this HTC One A9. The first thing we need to do is basically scrape all the remaining adhesive off of the home button. We wanna make sure that when we put uh, the screen back on that nothing causes it to kind of lift up from the frame. So we're gonna move all the remaining adhesive on here before we insert it back onto the front of the phone. So using a nylon spudger, just working our way around and just kind of peeling this adhesive back up. Nice and clean. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and insert this back into the front of the phone and thread the cable back kind of down and through. It'll sit on top of this uh, silver spot here on the front. You may have to just wiggle it just a little bit to get it to fit into where you want it to be. It doesn't have to be perfect now. Uh, what we'll do is just we'll just work the cable on this back side. Then we can readjust the home button on the front when we go to put the screen back on. Sometimes it just doesn't want to play exactly fair, so you may have to line it up fairly straight. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and kind of push the cable back into its correct spot. Now we can go ahead and take our charge port and stick it back in as well. You may have to wiggle this back into a place a little bit here. You want to make sure that there's no connectors underneath it. So the home button cable, the 3.5mm headphone jack, all of those cables are on the front side or the top side of the board. Nothing's underneath it. It may feel slightly uh, like it wants to pop up. You want to make sure that these wire cables are kind of in their guide slot area as well. The little clip right here you want to make sure that it's pushed into and a clip up on the back side of the board uh, right, kind of right below the battery. Just kind of push this into its slot here to make sure that it doesn't get caught underneath the board when you put the screws in that will hold it down. We don't want this to get pinched at all. Do the same thing on the opposite side with the white and blue wires. Go ahead and put our screws back in the bottom of the phone. One more to go. Go ahead and try to put this tape back down, or at least move it out of the way here. Let's go ahead and put the 3.5mm headphone jack cable back in its place. You want to get it pushed in as far as possible, not damaging the cable. There's a flip down connector there. There's the little piece of adhesive here. It fits on top of this little copper uh, kind of grounding portion. We'll go ahead and just make sure that's lined up correctly. Go ahead and snap on the remaining ribbon cable connectors here. And push them into the correct slot. Now you want to be careful with these flip down connectors. Make sure you use something large and flat to push them back down. Uh, sometimes they can snap. Let's go ahead and put our cable onto the mid frame here. That runs from the top of the phone. Now we can go ahead and just we're just gonna put our SIM card slot in here real fast. Let's make sure it lines back up properly. Don't want to push down extremely hard on them, but we get them back into place. Put our Captain Tape back over their connectors here. And you can also buy this tape 
Uh, it's called Capped on Tape. They sell it on places like eBay or E-Trade Supply. Uh, you can really get it at any of the retailers that I'll push down below in the video. I'm going to put our logic board in here at the top of the phone. And this can be a little bit tricky. There's some posts up here where I put my uh, index finger. And there's one over on the opposite side as well. And a couple kind of like a, a little clipping connectors that you want to make sure everything's sitting uh, fairly flush on the phone. It doesn't have to sit extremely tight. And it may take you a few times to get that to seat properly. Put our screws in here also. One more up here at the top. Go ahead and kind of move these connectors around a little bit. The white one's going to be the first one we're going to put down. So we're going to put that through the little guide rails here first. And that'll be the lower connector on the board. Let's kind of snap on like a pair of, a button on a pair of jeans, but you don't want to be overly forceful with it. Do the same thing with a blue cable. Go ahead and snap this back at the top. You can feel like it almost doesn't have enough reach. You don't want to pull on the end of the connector at all, so just be careful with that. Go ahead and put our vibration module back in. pushes in. It can be a little bit tricky with these uh, wires on it. You may have to try a few times to get it in there. There we go. Put our connection in for the buttons on the side of the phone. Go ahead and take the tape off here. Put it back over the connectors. And the same thing on this other piece of catch on tape. This goes over the cable connector we just pushed into place. Push down the remaining connectors on the board here at the top. These longer connectors you want to push down on the sides and the middle to make sure it fully connects I'm going to run this black wire up. It goes all the way up the top and around uh, this little uh, metal uh, shield here on the logic board of the device. And it's got little guide slots that you want to make sure you put it back into that are black on the board. See, it'll connect all the way over here. Put our battery back in. It did get uh, deformed. Make sure you push it back out into as straight as possible before you reinsert it back into the phone. Just pushes the connector into place. And now with that done, the next step is to actually 
go ahead and uh, take the phone and put it back into its housing. I'm going to slip in the bottom portion first. And this kind of snaps back into place. It's working our way down the sides and then across the top of the phone. Now I'm going to go ahead and put all the screws back into the device, but I, I might suggest that you go ahead and snap on the display of the phone and make sure everything's going to function properly for you, uh, like your Wi Fi, your Bluetooth, uh, make sure that the touch is fully functional, the cameras work properly for you before you go ahead and put these screws back in. I'll save you a little bit of time after disassemble the phone again. I'm going to go ahead and put all of the phones back in through the mid-frame into the uh, rear frame of the phone here. So we have a total of eight, four at the bottom and four at the top. All right, now we have all of those screws in. The next step is to go ahead and clean off all this remaining adhesive residue on the mid-frame. Um, I'm not going to spend my whole entire video showing you removing this, but it does take a, a little bit of time. And this is a pretty important step. Uh, when you need to reaffix the screen to the phone, you will uh, want to make sure that this is completely cleaned off and possibly using some isopropyl alcohol or something to clean the residue if there's large amounts of it left over. Normally you can just kind of scrape it off. Now once it's clean, you can go ahead and take some double-sided 3 and double tape. Uh, I have a few different sizes. I have a 5, I think it's a 2 and a 1 millimeter is what I ended up using on the phone. You could probably just get away with using a 2 and a 1 millimeter if you wanted to. Uh, the 5 is just a little less uh, time consuming to put in large chunks of tape. So we're just going to put this down. We really want to put down uh, this tape anywhere where there was adhesive beforehand. Uh, and if you can find the original uh, gasket or adhesive peat portion to this phone, I would definitely use that over uh, double-sided adhesive. So uh, basically just cut to fit your adhesive uh, all the way around the phone. If you have the three different sizes, that might make it a little bit less time-consuming. Uh, but it looks like what you'd ha really have to have is at least a two and a one, uh, something a little bit thicker. Uh, like the two to help hold down the top and the bottom and then the one on the sides of the phone. You also want to make sure that you don't put you don't put tape where there was not tape. Uh, you want to cover up anything so make sure the proximity sensor, the camera, uh, all of that is clear. And there's this little large this large black portion right where I'm putting above where I'm putting this piece of tape. There was not an adhesive over this portion of the phone. So I'm not going to cover it back up. Uh, that way uh, we don't block any possible antennas or anything that might be gaining signal uh, through that portion. So I went ahead and I taped a large portion of the phone up. You can see there's some tape on top of the home button down there as well to make sure it stays in place. And then we have some one millimeter tape we're putting down the side of the phone here. Sometimes this tape works great to hold the display in, um, but it's pretty thin and sometimes it doesn't work so perfect. So. Uh, you may have to use a tiny bit of um, additional glue to hold the side of your phone down. Um, I've used some silicone, I've used Gorilla Glue or uh, Super Glue in the past. Super Glue is a little bit more brittle. Uh, super, or Gorilla Glue seems to be a little bit more flexible, uh, which is what I might suggest. But just using tiny, tiny amounts, you don't want to damage the screen of the phone. Now one last thing that I want to reiterate is if you have uh-oh protection, make sure you use that before doing this process. All right, so we'll go ahead and snap this back onto the phone itself. We're going to go ahead and put both of the screws back in here as well.
All right, now that we have both of the screws back in, we can go ahead and start removing all the backing off of the tape. Uh, if you've used 3M double-sided tape before, you, can, you understand that sometimes it'll want to pill up. So in some cases, uh, you may want to push down on the front side of the tape portion which you're peeling up to get that removed. And just go ahead and remove all of the tape backing off. Uh, I do this after I put the screen in. Uh, that way I don't have to fiddle around or put uh, fingerprints on it or really lose any of the adhesive property of the tape. So we pull up the last portion of the tape here. Now that we have that done, I'm going to go ahead and take the screen. I'm going to insert the top portion, or the bottom portion down here, I'm sorry, uh, where the home button's at. Make sure it lines up properly. Let's kind of push it back into place. Now, I'm reapplying the broken screen. When I made this video, new screens are not available. So I won't be able to show you that this phone's turning on, but it definitely has power uh, back into the phone. If you follow these steps, you shouldn't have any problems uh, reassembling and, and having a working device. Uh, so basically, you just want to make sure you go around the phone with your fingers and make sure you get it nice and tight. We can go ahead and put in our SD card slot and our SIM card slot. One last thing that I might suggest is uh, taking a, a flat piece of like a maybe a book of some sort uh, or something to put on the back of it, let it sit overnight, help that adhesive uh, apply itself to the phone. Now I can go ahead and take this strip that we took off the top of the phone and put it back in place. And there you have it. That is the reassembly of the HTC One A9. Found that helpful? Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Uh, future videos to come. If you like phone repair, uh, check out the rest of my videos. As always, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace.